Hello, James Marchington here with your weekly news update from TSC. So what's in the news this week? Well, the TSC Winter Series gets underway this Saturday, the 28th of September. Also at the Oxford Gun Company on Saturday, there's a charity shoot in aid of the Thames Valley Air Ambulance. Elsewhere in the news, Wales has announced new general licences, which have already been slammed by the National Gamekeepers Organisation as a disaster. And with countries threatening to boycott the 2022 Birmingham Commonwealth Games after it dropped shooting sports, the Commonwealth Shooting Federation thinks it's found a viable alternative. All that and more coming up after this. You'd think the Welsh authorities might have learnt something from the general licences disaster in England this spring. But they can't have been paying attention, because Natural Resources Wales is replacing its existing perfectly good general licences with three new ones that have already been slammed as a disaster by the National Gamekeepers Organisation. The new licences take effect on Monday the 7th of October, in just under a fortnight's time. They're much more restrictive than the perfectly workable licences they're replacing, and the NGO says they'll put a stop to important conservation work in rural Wales. They effectively ban rook shooting and will make it illegal to kill crows, magpies, jackdaws and jays to help pheasants and red-legged partridges breed in the wild. The NGO say that NRW is running scared of a non-existent legal threat, rushing through a set of ill-considered and over-precautionary licences they're now considering legal action to challenge the new licences in the courts. Now, with shooting dropped from the 2022 Birmingham Commonwealth Games, India and Australia are talking about boycotting the Games altogether. But one organisation thinks it's found a way to solve the problem. The Commonwealth Shooting Federation is proposing an international shooting event to take place alongside the Commonwealth Games. They're looking at Altcar near Liverpool as the venue. Here's Keith Shields from the Federation. We started several months ago trying to instigate another option. And the option we came up with is Altcar, a military base. We have all the ranges, beautiful ranges, and they are prepared to let us have the ranges to do the development. We can put in shooting trap layouts and we can leave a legacy. This is important because Manchester, Glasgow and London, two Commonwealth, one Olympics, no legacy. Shooting, whether it's rifle, pistol or shotgun, it is one of the very few, totally inclusive. You can have I'm on a rifle range, on a pistol range, on a shotgun, somebody with one arm, somebody in a wheelchair, competing on the same field. At the moment we have a small amount of para around the world, but not a lot of support. If we can get the Commonwealth nations, the 71 Commonwealth nations, 35, 38, have shooting teams. If we can get them to combine and work together, we can make para shooting, rifle, pistol, shotgun, stronger and more inclusive. And this would be a good platform to show something like this. Meanwhile, here at the Oxford Gun Company, this Saturday sees the start of the TSC Winter Series. The series is for under-21s who are in full-time education, and it culminates in the grand final in December, when one girl and one boy will each win an MG car from Lodge Hill Garage. This is the first of five events in the series, and each one counts towards qualification for the grand final. Even if you're not going after the car, it's well worth getting involved. The TSC series shoots are great for building up your competition experience, and there are some great prizes to be won at each shoot, courtesy of sponsors Sealand and Yildiz. Plus the highest combined score across all five events will win a Yildiz shotgun. On top of the TSC Winter Series shoots, there's also the TSC Schools Competition on Wednesday week, the 2nd of October. You can enter as an individual or as a school team, and there are separate categories for boys and girls in under and over 15s. You'll need to book ahead to shoot that one, so get over to the schoolschallenge.co.uk and download the entry form. Now, here's my pick of the latest shooting videos on YouTube. This one's from Dave Carey, who's patent testing a selection of 24 cartridges at 50 yards, with the aid of a piece of cardboard and a CD to represent the body of a pheasant. 
He proves that with the right gun and cartridge, the little 20 bore is more than capable of bringing down a high pheasant. To watch it, click on the link in the description below. Now, alongside the TSC Winter Series shoot this Saturday, the Oxford Gun Company are also holding a charity shoot in aid of the Thames Valley Air Ambulance. It's a 50 bird sporting shoot with a high gun prize of £100, and there are classes for ladies and juniors as well as a trophy class. There's a pool shoot and raffle, and food and refreshments available in the barn all day. Plus, you can support the youngsters shooting the TSC course as well. It should be a great day and all in a good cause, so do come along and join in if you can. Find the details at oxfordguncompany.co.uk or on the Facebook page. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Remember to get booked in if you're planning to shoot the school's challenge on the 2nd of October. And with so much going on, do try to get along to the Oxford Gun Company this Saturday. We're back with another video on Thursday. This time, David's taking a look at a most extraordinary new clay trap from Bowman which can throw rabbit clays, looping standards, and even middies. So tune in again on Thursday to watch that one. And in the meantime, do please support the sponsors whose names are coming up in a minute. We simply couldn't keep producing these videos without them. See you Thursday.